All right, rock and roll thing. Um, this was good. <laughs> this was originally going to be a video, um, up part light in the dark series. Um, it was going to be about Wardulak and Gore Lord. Um, but my mate's got my fucking Wardulak CD. But that's, that's by the by. So I thought, well. If only did I could make a longer video and make it about the guy that's in Gore Lord and his brother Fug and Freddie Alba with Fug. They've got a few projects, so I've got a heap of them. So we're going to throw them all off at the same time. Um, that being said, let's go. So uh, they're basically two Norwegians, the brothers. They joined Necrophasia um, after fucking Anselmo left. Again, that's Fug. And well, that's Freddie Arbour there. They joined for that album. Um, good old Coffin Joe. Jenna Jameson. Uh, and they stuck around. They were also on God of the Vine. Death Trip 69. And they're also on the Harvest Ritual album as well. Um, so, where the fuck did I put this? Right. About 2002, I think it was, 2003 maybe? 2001? Jesus. Uh, my mate Pigsy appeared in this. Gore Lord. Force fed human flesh. Um, it's death metal. Maniac for Mayhem with vocals. Uh, Killjoy does one of the songs as well. But it's basically Fred Diablo, his brother Fug, Gem Odd, Mrs. of the Dark, who wrote it. It's, 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 it's slowish to mid paced kind of death metal, but it's all the new horror movies, it's all the old, old, old school horrors. The fucking ones from the 70s and shit, the fucking dirty. <laughs> Lucio Fulci level fucking names. Oh, then you know what's up. Good side There's not much to see in the only cards, it's lyrics. Um, so that was 2001, that, that was good. Um, next up appeared Zombie Suicide Part 666. Um, this is even more stripped back. This is just Fred Diablo by himself. Just by himself, fucking just spewing hatred. Mere horror movie worship. Just fucking trying to see where he goes. Look, it's Freddy all over. Um, it's mere mid paced death metal. A um, couple of demos from at the end. It didn't release like it's fucking alright. A life in fucking the dead. <laughs> oh, that was fun this year. And while I'm too old, that's a full length. Uh, these appeared Creature Feature 1 and 2 Split EPs with fucking Wardulak um, Wardulak is Maniac for Mayhem and Vocals Killjoy Vocals Fug Guitar, Freddy Alvin Guitar Elazi Guitar Estrella Oh Immortal on bass and Gem Mod on drums. Gore was Freddy Arbo. That's the same with things. Fucking ain't to see you do. This is fucking. Yeah, it's just written shit saying that ain't any fucking thingy. But, um, but it's songs that run on the albums. And they're both pretty good. Um, the fucking Wardlock's mere. It's black metal, I would say. But it's groovy as fuck. It's, it's, it's got a real groove when we hear some of the riffs. Uh, their album Ceremony of Flames is a fucking beast. That's the one my mates got. Um, plus, there was another Gore Lord album. The Texas Chainsaw fucking 
or something. And I, it was through here, because I had these CDs looked at, but since they're a fucking party last Saturday, one well, that's fucking went AWOL. But, I'll be in here somewhere, but, uh, which by the by, um, but word luck, we got a second album. Several Nights of Possession. You know, a brutal fucking cover. And the romp up the black metal as well, it's fucking pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, there's all your black metal is, but it's fucking. Uh, it's fucking maniac here, man. It's a force to burn that, but it's it's a pretty banging album. Um, I'll list all these albums in the fucking description. I'll post links so you can fucking go and listen. Hey, so that's word luck and go lord right and then they put it in a bed or back in a coffin whatever means fucking applicable um there's like a death metal album group called tales of the mass Tale tales of the macabre by soul forsaken and this is just for the album and fuck by themselves it's mere melodic death metal um, I would say it was a melodic death metal with a touch of black. Um, it's alright. It's been a few years now, isn't it? So I can't really give you much of a fucking appraisal. But I remember it being good. So you. It's not but it's a pretty obscure one. It came in Red Stream Records. No, Baphomet Records, that's Killjoy's fucking label. I got it through Red Stream Records back in the day. Decent. <laughs> and then the real fucking fucked up shit on. Schwart Pest. And this is fucking just gnarly, primitive, caveman. Fucking. Apparently there was a. They used fucking real skulls and shit to fucking as percussion, which maybe it was then. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, it certainly sounds like it. It's primitive as fuck. <laughs> Just really fucking primitive with vocals that are like fucking. Bleh, 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 bleh. You get the picture. Bleh. I am even exaggerating. That's me doing my favour. And then this is a few years later, the odd fleshed Freddy Arbo, Fug, and two other folk. And it's fucking alright as well. Fucking best thing, it's nowhere near as primitive as that fucking hour when it's about, it's fucking beyond it. Yeah, it's an only book that's so fucking black, it's leave it fucking editing it. Black, it's grim. And it does seem like it's just a right, that's minimal, a pointless booklet. Uh, and it just seems another one came in 2019, so I fucking looking for it. Uh, there was also another album, Ave Satanus, Religion of Pity, also black metal. Um, it's got synth on it as well. It was, it's alright, but that's just got a fucking bad paper for an only card, it's fucking even there, Necro. Um, and again, this is Freddy Albert's Fug. Um, Buff me records again. It's, it's alright, but I remember thinking it was fucking. The synth sounds too fucking clean for the fact that it's. Pretty grim fucking instruments. Anyway, uh, next up, there was Hem Noor, Satanic Hell Ride. This is pretty good. Uh, on fucking Metal Archives, it's got listed as fucking 
death black groove groove no, no, it's not really. I suppose it means it's, it's got catchy riffs I suppose that's what you fucking need um, this is just fucking thread the album himself I think all music by Fred Yarbo. I guess. But he'll fucking Satan. <laughs> yeah. I it, it's fucking good. As I said, it's groovy, blockish, death metal. It's better produced than that fucking spark pitch. That's all right. I think they only did the one album. It's fucking, you know, it's a one and done. Fucking, it's, it's worth fucking looking at it again. I'll, I'll post a link to it. It's fucking, it's worth a fucking listen. Fucking, it's bizarre how you never see anyone else in the VC fucking talking about fucking these fucking bands. Uh, Fred Yablo, fuck, because they were pretty fucking prolific back in the day. Well, 2000s anyway. I always forget it's 2022. Oh, fucking mental. Uh, and then what else going on as well? Grimfist arrived. And that was fucking. This was Freddy Oblo again. Uh, who else was it? Oh, uh, Horg. Say fucking immortal. He played drums. Somebody called Ollie on guitar and bass and Freddy Oblo on vocals. Um, this is mere block, but it's got a bit of groove in it. It's like, I hate saying all oh, you fucking said that block metal. Black metal is supposed to be groove. Black metal is supposed to have fucking sodomy, violence, barbed fucking wire, tits, pentagrams upside and crosses, fucking more tits, glass beads. But, uh, sorry, I got a wee bit carried away there. But, ah, it's called Ghouls of Grandeur, that's the first song. And then there's another one, it's only done the two, Grimfist, Ten Steps to Hell. This came in Con Blakes or something, can I step up? Um, I can't wait to see if I'm selling this if it's just him. Uh, but this one's a lot faster than fucking the other old. Uh, well, there's three of them. Now, uh, Oli, Freddy Arbo. Somebody else, I can't fucking read them, you get glasses. To the rock room, doing classes, went through your locker, smashed your glasses. Um, aye, I mean, it's fun. It's fucking great stuff, I'm gonna be fucking listening to this today. Um, but it's not just black metal. I've got cut your ribs, black metal. Decent produced, fucking hurry. Um, so that was them. There's, a, there's another, another couple of bands he's in that I've never fucking heard, but I think they're kind of like hard to get hard to get a hold of. Um, thanks to everyone who turned up the other night to watch the fucking Grindcore stream. Went all right. It's a good laugh. Uh, there's some decent records. I, th I think they managed to fucking nay fucking corrupt young Matthew. <laughs> but <laughs> it's all good. Um, back here the seventeenth. Friday the 17th, next Friday, is it? Aye. Uh, there's me, Green Saber, and Johnny Mark for Rotten Quimel Plus. We're going to be doing a High and Fire album. Uh, Trevor Hick is in as well. High and Fire album ranking. So that should be fun. Uh, I've scored my fucking subscribers. I'm not fucking doing it, I've got another fucking 10 folk or something, so cheers, welcome. Uh, other than that, press like and subscribe and all that stuff, and uh, tell your mates, don't do anything I wouldn't do, which isn't very much, and fucking take it sleazy, and I'll catch you on the next fucking video.